Hi, uh, good morning. This is your Captain Lokesh here again. Uh, in the case of the subject, we will talk about air navigation. So, why uh, specific air navigation? Choose um, it is a very common subject when it comes to pilot. Air navigation is a very mandatory subject. PPL is a very mandatory subject. You can get CPL air navigation. To become a captain, airline transport pilot license, you need to give air navigation subject. It is a it is a very uh, you know slow core subject. Uh, without which, uh, without the good knowledge about this subject, a pilot cannot uh, navigate the aircraft in general, right? Apart from this, uh, this uh, video in the subject on the path, you know, pilot point of view motto illama those who are doing bsc those who are doing msc aviation and the mari degree particular personal ko a navigation subject and this video is going to be i'm sure it's going to be really helpful okay let's jump into the subject uh, a navigation pathinga abdina it comprises of many uh, streams like many uh, lessons for example uh, very basic uh, uh, in a sort of the use of navigation path, you know, going from one place to another place. Now, let's say for example, you want to do a flight from Chennai to Delhi means uh, you take off from Chennai and your destination is Delhi. You have to land in Delhi only. Delhi, can you go? Which doesn't make any sense. It is of no use. So, how and with what way this pilot is going to land in Delhi exactly as his destination? So there are many uh, equipments in the aircraft. So equipments in Pomo Pathina they call it as radio navigation. It is a part of air navigation, Adukule Club by Warum. And the Kalatalon the Abdina, they used to fly with map to ground flying. So number map Ebdi Unglika exactly topographical features ground Ebdi Rico. The same thing will be picturized and painted on a sheet of paper. That's we call it as a map. Map will be navigate Pano using latitudes and longitudes. So they take the grid navigation, they you know take the compass or the protractor and what they will do is that they will uh, take the exact uh, location that is a pinpoint location number Google Maps like the GPS pinpoint location or though they will take it. So from that point they will just draw one line with the help of that uh, you know uh, flight protractor they will get the heading. If the heading on the path is now latitude latitude tomorrow so approximately over 60 to 70 degrees latitudes on the path you know, in the magnetic north which is a flight on me you know in the earth on the path you know, we take two knots one on the true north which is the north pole in our north on the path you know, the magnetic north and so long is a place where uh, maximum magnetic field is being found right so Kunjakila latitude Zirkaravariko will be using magnetic compass in the aircraft, other which is the number of flight panel with the help of that heading. But in the Tavarte for long range navigation, I mean, let's say you're doing a long range navigation, you need to have some kind of uh, uh, guidance, you call it as aid. If you have a unknown place, you have a smartphone, we use our Google Maps. So, with the help of GPS, Google Maps works. And of course, the same concept which has been taken from uh, you know uh, aircrafts. So we have GPS in our aircraft, VR and soli or tani equipment rukke, ADF and soli tani equipment rukke. ADF pathinga abdi na automatic direction finder solvanga. That is like some decades before they were using it. After that, VR solvanga, very high frequency omni range navigation. So this is what almost nowadays we use VR navigation. And next comes the latest is the GPS. They have something called RNAV, RNAV routes and so long. So that is like, I don't want to go so much deep into it. I mean, hardly 10 15 minutes, I cannot cover everything. So just a crisp So ADF and then instrument every on the ground you have an antenna. Every antenna has its own frequency. Simple, the pilot knows the frequency. And upon our navigation section, la cockpit la on the frequency tune the antenna will emit the signal in the aircraft you have the receiver so you just simply track the uh, signal where it is coming from and then you just reach your place wherever it is now being said that i am going the antenna at the airport correct so with the help of that signal coming from that antenna i can easily go to the airport that way the pilot will not get lost 
so these are the basic uh, you know different types of navigation so over idu thaganda mari ungalku over equipment thaganda mari ungalku precision vandu inu sharp aagum ungalku right so this is just a quick uh, you know knowledgeable video about air navigation and guys if you want some more information uh, good knowledge about this uh, you know this particular subject or that particular topic pathi ungalku venum appadina just drop down a comment on which uh, you know particular subject or particular lesson you wanted to know so that we can you know have a video for you guys okay i hope you got at least uh, some percentage of knowledge from this video uh, thank you guys i'll see you soon in the next video Thank you and have a good day.